already. It's it's go time, and it's time to prepare for the next opponent. How did you guys sustain that pressure when they started bringing it there after you guys won, I think, 13 or 12? Yeah, I just um, talking about the the first half or first half. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a game of runs, and um, we knew they'd make their run. We'd make our run. Um, you know, they came out second half right away, and it was already down to a one point lead. So. I think we just got to hang our hats defensively. That's that's what we got to do. Um, you know, shots didn't fall tonight, but we still got the job done. How much of a game plan change was there when those shots weren't falling? Because it did seem like you guys started to go inside when you realized the yeah. hey, lid's on right now. Early, uh, I think Coach was kind of getting mad at us. He, I think he thought we were dribbling a little bit too much, but um, and, and he was right. We, once we got that thing moving, I think we just had to attack, get downhill right away, and make plays, especially their, their, their press. We were getting you know, kind of just a little stagnant and letting them, you know, press us, but we needed to attack that thing, get downhill. And once we did that, they really opened things up for us. And we, we didn't knock some open shots down tonight, but they did a really good job not letting us get open shots. Yep. How much of a team effort and team resolve was there to get this done? Everybody, I mean, everybody played a part. Uh, Carson Cooper did a good job when he came in. You know, Madi, those, those two blocks he had late were, were the game changers, honestly. Um, forget the buckets and the, the free throws. That's that's where the game was won right there. So everybody had a, a hand in this one. What did it feel like late to hear the crowd chanting your name? What was that? What did it feel like late to hear the crowd chanting your name? I didn't even know. I mean, it was, I'm sitting there just tying my shoe, and, and you know, it's just, um, it definitely kind of made you just sit and think. Like I got caught up on my, my emotions a little bit there. There was still some time left, so I wanted to make sure we won the game. But um, definitely once I got off the court, just hearing that, seeing my parents, um, seeing my teammates, how excited it was, it, it hit me pretty hard. Yeah. It just means a lot. I mean, I've been through a lot in, in my career. Um, you know, obviously. I started at Marquette and um, got booed pretty hard when, when the game started. So, uh, but like I said, there's no hard feelings. And um, but beating them was definitely made this one a little sweeter. What about that flagrant foul? That was kind of a turning point there at the end. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Honestly, I don't even know what happened. I'm coming off a screen, and all of a sudden, my feet are above my head. So I didn't, I didn't really know what happened. I didn't even see it on the video. Um, but yeah, it, it was a big turning point. Uh, those two free throws were were big time. So I don't know. I don't know what the score was at the point. I think it was probably two or four or whatever it was. But um, it, it was a big play, and we made some. Big, everybody made some big free throws down the stretch. When the threes weren't dropping, did doubt creep in? Or? 